Previously on Blowing Up Fatty Cool. So we finally decided who is in Fatty Cool. I didn't know what to expect. Ah! Well, Lord, what's wrong with you? But I did not expect that. Well, Lord. It's all good. It's all good, yeah? Rawr. I got it! The term of this is for five years. Five years. This is what I'm trying to show you. What if, like, they just like so much that I hate them? I know it's going to be nerve-wracking. I know it is. I know it is. Fatty Cool. Yeah. So now Josh is officially in Fatty Cool. We got to go into the studio with Toby and basically sprinkle Josh on the album. I really love the record the way it is now. On the other hand, it's really important that he is in the songs since he's part of the group. I mean, it feels good to do what I love 25-8. The people around you can't have a bigger goal for you than you got for yourself. It gives the album a fuller sound. It's another added voice and instrument on all these songs. Here. I'm excited. I think it's a, the group is, is unbeatable. I think it sounds great. And they're ready to put this album out into the marketplace. The feedback I'm getting from the label is that they feel that Boogaloo Beat is not an urban record. They felt that the song wasn't urban enough, and the label wants to change the name for the first thing of Boogaloo Beat to bounce. They feel that Boogaloo Beat is kind of a term that's not really relative and current right now, and they don't feel strongly about going to urban radio with this version. They want to do a remix of the song. Honestly, I think Ryan should take a crack at it. I mean, he produced. Yeah, but they're not going to buy it. They're looking for a guy who sort of serves it right down the pike for them. No matter what Ron does, they're not going to buy it. Well, this whole concept of what's urban, I mean, is, is crazy to me. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's, it's hurting what music is. Somehow we're going to have to finesse this without losing our originality. We, we should definitely oblige my guests doing this urban remix and see, but putting that onto the group, and we're mixing their song without them, that's gonna be, that's gonna raise some issues in their mind. But this is part for the course, unfortunately. So we get a call and uh, we find out that everyone wants to change up some of the songs because they don't feel like certain songs are urban enough. I called a meeting because at the time, I felt that we were getting played because they knew we were unique. Most of the album is produced by Ron. You got cats doing remixes and hello, what's going on with me? As y'all know, we um, y'all know about the album and the marketing plan. And our marketing plan is uh, basically become our urban. But the only problem is what our music is. Our music is a wide range. Mm -hmm. They were talking about, yeah, we're going to see some guys do remixes. Not replacements. What the f is that? Not no, what, what, how is that we don't know the remixes? I want to hear the last results. I feel like you'd be losing creative control. Our market is urban. We're urban. We're supposed to be urban. What does urban mean? Hip hop. R&B. Black. Club. Representing where you come from. Neo soul. Straight hood music. The swagger on the edge. Whatever urban is, they don't even know. Uh, this is what I'm saying. I only got one shot. If I gotta change my the music, if I gotta change what the kind of style of music we gonna do, I'll make it urban if it has to be, but that's not what I want to do. All this talk is just going to get what's off our chest, and it's not going to get no work done. Because Josh didn't share the history of actually making the album. He has none of the credits or nothing. We know the situation. They need urban music, let's give them urban music. It's not that serious. We give them urban music, I, I, but what if they say, okay, the saxophone is too jazzy. We don't want that jazz element. We'll take what the if they say, out. well, we don't want uh, cello in there because it makes it too classical. We'll take cello out. What we need to do, since we don't have any authority in the situation, Sacrificing our So what? They say we gotta change it. Took y'all no time to make the other stuff. Let's make some urban hits. This is our music. We're not changing anything. This is fatty cool. Let's make some music, y'all. It ain't that serious. Josh, he's already changing himself to be in this group. He doesn't really know why we're fatty cool. We're fatty cool because we're different. Let's do this now. You feel anything below? No. I don't have anything to say. I did think the meeting was absurd with Josh just, you know, jumping up like he knew what was going on. Whatever. Sit down. Don't worry about no crazy urban stuff, because that's what I was doing back at home. We and like desperate needed stuff. Yeah. I got people who are working with Usher, I got people who are working with uh, Monica, I got people who are working with Rough Riders that could give us beats. Uh -huh. If we need some crazy beats, if we down to it. I believe I get mad respect from Ryan. It's a phone call away, dog. It's kind of one of those things when you look at him and you say, dude, 
shut up. You know, Ron's a producer, and you're going to tell him, hey, I know someone that makes beats. I don't think that was very wise. All right, no, my capabilities already. Yeah, I'm saying this is right up my alley, y'all. Yeah. And I got that Chicago sound in me, dog. What you talking about? That Chicago sound? Yeah. It's already in me. I was around at 25 8 and I have eight, you know? You said you were 25-8? Yeah. What is that? 24, 25, 7, 8. 25-8, man, for real. <laughs> Word is bond, kid. Son, son. Our song, Moogaloo Beat, the concept of the song is the beat behind it. The label felt that this, the version of Bounce we had wasn't urban enough. It's kind of fast, kind of a more of a dancey record, and they want something that they, a cat can roll around in their Jeep too. It wasn't there anymore, and like, it changed out to like, ding, 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 and bird is like, still, you know, and like, it was like, and from being really, really upbeat and like happy kind of pop to like very hip hop. What you hear is a tester to get you to move your chest up, bounce your body like a seizure, made you lose all your rest. Up. What y'all think? I think the lyrics sometimes doesn't match with the music. Like the tempo as far as like, it's the yeah. same tempo, just the drums are. Well, I played the remix for them. I think everyone is kind of lukewarm. Someone else from the outside stepping in. I mean, that's awkward and that's hard to deal with sometimes. When he first played it, I was like, Okay, I done heard this like 10,000 times. I knew it was gonna be afterwards about it, but like, man, you know, I like it, but but I was just like, you know, I liked it, you know, it was hot. The whole point of us going back to Columbus and recording in our own house is that we do it ourselves. The kids were upset about the Urban Remix, so I'm bringing them into the office for a meeting. Hey, how's it going, man? How you doing? Hey. Hello. So what's happening? You tell us. One thing that we haven't really talked about is the record company has a job to do, and they wanted to come with chills. It was the simplest proposition. You can imagine in an urban radio, plus it sounds like a hit. But for our group, for chills to be the first single, you guys for that? You know, it's not representative of the essence of the group. So like, we said, okay, if you guys can buy into Bounce, and they go, that doesn't sound urban which is what's kind of led to the remix. We had creative control to do whatever we want, and we delivered an awesome record, and it, it reaches all these different, you know, genres. And I think that they want to make sure that every song hit this certain appeal. That's how this world works, and that's how this business works. It's a very frustrating experience for us, because, you know, we voted for Fatty Coo, and I'm not looking to put it in a box. So if Bounce doesn't do well, and they go right to Chills, God forbid Chills doesn't get airplay, then this record's done. These are their songs that they wrote themselves, but if they want to put this record out, I mean, there has to be some alterations made. That's just the way it goes. So we go to the John Legend concert and we went to a sound check, yo. Welcome to Sony Studios. Yeah, this is where it's It's crazy. John Legend is an amazing artist, singer, songwriter, brilliant. We manage him as well over here at DOS. We're just ordinary people. We don't know which way to go. Because we're ordinary people. John's a seasoned artist who's been performing outright for at least like the last five years. He looked out at us and was like, who are these people over here? Hey, okay, you must be Fatty Coo. It was just crazy because it's like, wow, John Legend knows who Fatty Coo is. Welcome, y'all gonna stay and watch the show? Yeah, man. Cool, cool, cool. We bump your album 20%. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank that you. joint is yeah, just crazy. Man. Thank you. How do you do it from like show to show, just like sleep, no drinking? You gotta take good care of your body. I've been going to a vocal coach too recently. I'm listening to John like, dude, you, you're amazing. But he's like, I still need a vocal coach. I still need to work on my craft. How often do you get your jitters? I don't really get jitters except like the Grammys, I got jitters. Why'd you make it out of Ohio? <laughs> I left. <laughs> <laughs> I got <this> <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm gonna get back to work. Pleasure to meet y'all. Stick around. Enjoy yourself. For sure. Yeah, I'm like some sort of speechless. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I'm inspired. For him to give you that kind of encouragement and advice, the feeling is just indescribable. Well, it's true ours, the true example of never give it up and stick it to what you want to do. You gotta keep working. You can't just sit there. You're driving me crazy. You gotta have that mentality like there's another person working that much harder. You gotta get work done. Time is money, baby. You can hone your skills and you can be sick at a lot of stuff that you're doing. But when you're in a group, it becomes more of a group thing, more than a you thing. Like I always say to you guys, I'm on the outside looking in. Josh comes from a very regimented schedule where Faiku, they're songwriters. I mean, they're constantly going down in the studio, begging out new songs. We were all just, you know, jamming out. That's what we do. That's like something that we've always done. They downstairs on the keys and drumming and stuff like that. I mean, when Josh wants to be upstairs rehearsing, we need to work on stuff that matters first. Hey, Ronald. Hey, yo, hold on a second, hold on a second. We gotta knock out some of our rehearsal with everybody. Because we said we were gonna practice today. We didn't really say we were gonna do that. It's gonna be changed no matter what. Would you feel more, you feel more comfortable if you go up there and do that? I mean, we're still rehearsing now. I know we're rehearsing on this. We're supposed to work on the dance, too. Why are you coming down here talking like we're not rehearsing? We're vibing out, and you come down here, and you're breaking up rehearsing. He felt that we was, like, wasting our time. Our uh, schedule needs more organized. We're trying to organize a little bit, you know? I'm thinking to myself when he was talking, no, this ain't coming down here talking to me like he runs this show. It's 7.40 now. <laughs> what time do you think y'all gonna be, I mean, it's not a y'all thing, I mean, you could be down here jamming with us, you know? I know that, that's what I'm saying, y'all, as in us, mug. I don't even feel like doing this no more, man. Let's, let's just go ahead and get that over with. I don't feel like doing it no more. I hate being rushed when I'm doing something, and I'm not going to be rushed when I do something. If we're going to rehearse some things, why should there be a time limit? then everything is gonna be rushed. I'm not trying to rush nothing I'm doing here. Because how y'all all approach, I lost the vibe, and I, I don't wanna ever lose my vibe again. We can dance the vibe and shake, but if I'm down there playing, that's rehearsal, that's a, that's a form of rehearsal. My vibe is fucked up right now. I remember my fist had balled up. I walked to him and my fist balled up even more. I'm young, but I got a wick. You know, sometimes it can burn out if somebody comes at me and belittle me. I was like, no, this is not right. Cause I wanted to like, cause I was so pissed. I'm not doing shit. that's how I feel. I'm not doing shit right now. It's 11.55 now, Carl will be here in half an hour, and you're in bed. Yes, thank you. Right now, everybody is rushing, getting their everything ready, getting their mindset, getting their game face on. For later on today, it's Sony. We're performing for them, we're doing chills. Fetty Crew has the win over Sony, which is their label. These cats are out there hustling and getting this record played. This is Sony. You know, we have a big job to do today. It's important that Fetty Crew sells this crowd. We go upstairs and we're watching TV and stuff. And I suggested that I thought maybe we should rehearse. I'm shaking, I can't control myself cause you. Can we do that? That was weird. That, that was weird. I was singing my part, but I was saving my full voice for when we actually had to sing. Yeah, it means a lot of too. No, I'm singing really loud. Well, just humanly possible, let's just try to... I'm singing loud, and if I sing it louder, I'll go off too. Gabrielle, you're going to have to sing loud. You're going to have to sing loud. I don't need you to tell me that, that's what I'm saying. She didn't want to mess up her voice or anything, 
but she I, she raised her voice at me. So I'm looking like, why can't you sing as loud as you're talking right now? Please, I can't Gabrielle. sing any louder than I am, Please, otherwise Gabrielle. I do it. So stop talking. Well, they ain't gonna be able to hear you then. Well, I know that, and it's better That's than them not hearing me than hearing me go off too. All right. You don't sing, Valora, or are you too mad to sing? You have to practice how you're going to sing it. Gabrielle, I got my part. Exactly, I have my well, part too. You do what you do. Then you do what you do. Do what you do. When we get there, make sure we all project. Even though we can practice it right here and cut out a small talk. It's childish, man. It's just saying like we're supposed to. Joshua, I was just looking at Josh like, you got me messed up. You just, just sit down, eat an apple or something. I call the situation childish because it was childish. I imagine he just said the things he had heard from his parents to us and like he just realized how bad they sound coming from his mouth. Don't tell me how to talk to Gabrielle. Five, this is normal. Six, seven. Chills running through my body. Down my it just wasn't productive. We're about to go perform for Sony. We're going to bring the kids down to say hello to all you. I want to introduce David uh, Sonnenberg, who's the group's manager. David, come on up. Like I've been on with these kids at Fatty Coop. I'm that jealous of Gabrielle that I have to be picking on her all freaking. She'll make sarcastic comments like, "Yeah, I'm jealous, Gabrielle." And I'm like, "Are you?" I hope she ain't got that stupid idea in her head. She has no reason to be, honestly. Why would I be jealous of somebody that has everything that I have? I feel like I got a little more. We will do the song "Chills," which kind of gives me chills. And please come on down, Fatty Coop. We went through all that mess to get there. We were kind of, you know, a little late to get there. Like, Fatty Cool. And what's Fatty Cool at all? I'm gonna miss you, TV. They're in the elevator. And they are good. Go, girl! We went down there, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And some part of me, I just felt real empty. <laughs> I just felt like I'm missing something. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my saxophone. You it's downstairs. Is it downstairs? Oh, everything's downstairs. I thought I had to take the whiskey. So good upstairs. Just is like, do I need my saxophone? And we're like, you dummy. Why don't you have your sax? You should have your sax on you at all times. Is that your job? Are you not going to do your job? That's what I'm thinking in my head. Like, this kid is just off the hook. Yeah. I think so. I mean, So they're like, stall, stall, saxophone. Josh is missing his instrument, but we'll start anyway. Sony was really feeling chills, they're really feeling the groove. I think they're all ready to go out and kill for this record. 
and it turned out to be crazy good. <laughs> I just, I took all the anger and frustration that I had on the, you know, the events that was going on, and I put it all to the music. I'm excited for what the future's gonna bring because we're getting ready to be something. Next time on Blowing Up Fatty Koo. Making a music video, it's gonna be crazy. It's really about being flirtatious and sexy. <sighs> These cameras are huge, man. It's hot, right? I get to touch all of this. I'm being bad. We have a hair emergency. He has like these spaghetti things coming out of his head. And it was just infuriated. Oh, man. Bounce, 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 bounce. Move your booty to the boogaloo beat. Use your moves, don't, don't refuse it, just scare the